Well, how do there, chums? You can hear I've got the sound glitch happening already as soon as I've jumped into game. I stood at my base too long. So I just need to teleport. But that's probably quite handy because um, I'm going to teleport to one of my other bases. I'm going to teleport to the manufacturing facility first. I want to see if I can re-interact with it. Okay, well, I've arrived, Kate. And look at that. Yes, I can re-interact with the manufacturing facility. It seems to be that they reset every couple of days. So there you go, let's head on over here and I can grab myself <laughs> some more multi-tool slots. Uh, okay, so if I do... Okay, a probe schematic flashes red. Some input appears to be required. I'm going to detonate probe? Maybe? No. I don't know what to do on this one. What do you do on this one? Oh, I wonder if the app tells you what to do on this one. One second. Okay, I hit leave and went back again because the actual app does tell you what to select on these puzzles. So my entry has caused the facility to go into immediate lockdown. So if I hit that. Okay, my entry has caused la, 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 a probe schematic. Okay, so if I hit recall probe, what does that do? Normal operation has resumed. I have access to the facility. Okay. Cool. All right. I get so yeah. Uh, what what? Hmm. My entry is because restart probe. Yeah, detonate probe. Okay. All right. So we need to go with the first option on this one. I think. Which is my entry, Recall Probe. Yes, Recall Probe. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, the No Man's Sky Assistant app. Yes. Okay, there we go. Boom. I mean, any of those could have been right, couldn't they? But there we are. Okay. I am going to create multi-tool expansion slot, please. Sweet. Oh, it looks like I've got the uh, the glitch back on the old audio as well, doesn't it? Okay. Right, well, um, I'm going to use the teleporter now to go to the Colossal Archive of mine, your bases. Let's go to the Colossal Archive. No, that's not the Colossal Archive. Where are you, Archive? Uh, da, 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 da. Miles away, Archive. There we go, we go there. You'd hear the sound, go back to normal, now. There you go. Okay, now why am I at the Colossal Archive? One, to get rid of the sound glitch, but two, to go and speak to this guy and see if I can do a daily turn-in, because I've got quite a fair bit that I can actually give. Okay, look, I can get that for free. Is it on the donate list? Yes, it is. Okay, so if I redeem a walker's brain, thank you, I can then go to donate and give it back to him. Oh, uh, yeah, and I can give all three of the glass there as well. There you go, my standing with Mercenaries Guild has gone up somewhat. And now I can actually claim rusted... Well, I can buy rusted metal if I want. That's not a uh, turning item. But I'm trying to get to there so I can actually claim multi-tool expansion slots. So if I can go to a couple of archives and do my daily turn in there as well, we might be able to get it up to that level that I want it to. So let's go back to my main base, which is right near to another colossal archive, and we would do another turn in. So here you go, your bases. And I want to go to... Hold up, your bases, please. And I want to go back to my turtle, and then we'll walk up the mountain. I'll see you at the other Colossal Archive. Okay, now I'm at the other Colossal Archive, which someone has basified and basified quite nicely. Let's head on in. I think this was Mikey the Manchild that did this. Pretty nice one there, Mikey the Manchild. Right, okay. So, I can claim that for free. Why not? Might as well have the am ammunition for free, since it's there. There you go, thank you very much. And then if I go to donate, and um, I can give all three there. And I can also donate that. Okay, go back to redeem. And I've got up to the Silotron module. We're only one step away from getting those multi-tool expansion slots. Hopefully I can get those tomorrow. And every day then after, I should be able to collect them for free as well. So hopefully I can get my multi-tool completely, completely specced out. Hopefully, that's the plan anyway. Righto. 
but you can go to those manufacturing facilities, complete the puzzle, and also get multi-tool expansion slots, which I've been doing. Because our, our crew has found quite a lot of manufacturing facilities. Sometimes I can teleport there, other times I can't. I've done a little bit of that in my own time. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for buried caches. Like that. Let's go and see what's inside of that buried cache, shall we, people? Hopefully it's not inside of base perimeters. Or else we could be in a little bit of trouble and digging it up. I tend to go a little bit further afield than round by my base from doing this. Boom. What did I get? Let's have a look. Ha ha! Suspicious movement module. Okay, well, I think I'm pretty much good for movement now. So I'm just going to fill that back in. There we go. I don't want that to add to complexity. I'm going to go a little bit further afield away from my base. And since I'm moving out of there, you know, out of my confines of my base, I'm going to be putting this into a survival mode. Chikapow. And I'm going to be turning a PvP on to anyone because I'm now going out from the actual confines of my, my safety of my bases. Let's go. Let's ride. Look at this. And um, I think I'm just, I'm not going to go massively far today. But I'm going to go... I go, I go south. I go south from all the bases. Let's go this way then. And um, I reconvene when I get to a decent point. Okay, well I'm not seeing much many bases around here. So I think this is a good place to start digging stuff up. And it's not far from the confines and safety of my own crew. Right. Cargo drop. Cargo drop. Cargo drop. Dang it. Subterranean, what? The fudge? Buried cache, that'll do. We'll go there then. Looks like I've locked onto a subterranean relic for now though. Looks like there's two and maybe the same gaff. Alright, let's, let's have a look. Whoops. Mine. Mine! Sweet! Buried cache. And what did I get? Oh, I got one of those things. Alright, fine. Let's just get rid of that subterranean organic structure as well. And uh, let's go to the old exosuit. And we can process that. And we can process that as well. Not too sure what I got out of there. I've got the movement module, but I think I've got three X-Class movement modules already. Yeah, I could do with maybe expanding my exosuit. But then again, I don't think there's many other modules I need in there, to be honest. I could do with one more X-Class shield. Hopefully we find that. Okay, right. Let's have a look around then. Cargo drop, cargo drop. Yeah, I wish cargo drops had a different icon. Buried cache, right next to me. And cargo drop. Okay, we'll go there then. Sweet. And this is pretty much what I'm going to do today, is just go around, digging all these up, having a look what I can find. Ah. Uh, there we are. Sweet. Might as well get that. It's in the same freaking hole, isn't it? Okay. Just got some gold out of that one. Alright. Well, it's fine. I mean, it's not always winner winner chicken dinner with these uh, loot caches. That's kind of the fun of it. It's like geocaching or something. You know, sometimes you get a dud. Other times you get X class modules. So, you know, it's um, well worth doing. So, Ghostlight also put this up inside of my. Um, my discord the same day that i put my video out there about cargo caches i mean don't ignore the uh, damaged machinery if you see damaged machinery like i'm heading to right now be sure to check those as well because sometimes you can get s class modules out of these it's it's rare but if you don't get an s class module sometimes you just get nanites but nanites are good if you come across a trader oh we got a hyperdrive module Ow, got bit by a freaking plant of evil. Yeah. we head this way. Let's have a look around. Very cash. We're heading there. All right. Okay, well, we've arrived. And uh, let's grab that one. What do we get from that? Oh, we got a, a species record. All right, fine. Well, look at that. My, um, my tray manipulator stayed red. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's like a little torch effect. Yeah, I like that. 
Okay, I'm going to take that off of there. Apart from now, it's given an, my enemy a giant red beacon in the air, hasn't it? All right, well, we got some, we got ourselves some. Um, there you go, I better, better get rid of that. I didn't think of that. Right, what's over there? Buried cash, 300 use. Oi, get out of the way, beetle. Oi, out of the way. Buried cash. All right, go on then, you can take me there. Now that I've highlighted it. Yeah, take him in the opposite direction now. Yeah. Okay, cool. There we are. Zoom! Oh, look at that. There's two damaged machineries right there. Oh, for punch sake. Maybe I shouldn't have bothered riding them, Beetle. Right. Oh, there's a third one there as well. Okay, let me off. Meow. Huzzah! Oh, look, we've got this in here as well. I've got pitted computer. Oh, no. Have I just upset a sentinel by shooting that thing? I have as well. Yeah, leave me alone, mate. I did nothing wrong. I'll have that sweet root, thank you. Yep, okay, let's have a look into that. We got an underwater protection module in that one. Where was the other two? They were back this way, weren't they? There they are. Oh no, I'm running out of space again. Alright, well, um, let's process that. And let's grab that and slap that in there. Take that out. Great. Get that on the bake. Nanites received! Aha! What about this one? Okay. I'm not too sure what I got out of that one. Alright, well, we continue forth. Cargo drop. Right, well, I'll let you know if I come across anything interesting. Okay, well, I've arrived at Kated. Let's uh, open this up and see what we get then. Boom! What have I got? Ah, oh, i got a species record again. Yeah, oh, let's pop that then. Sweet. Can I stick that in there as well? Hmm. Maybe not. Oh, it's doing living slime right now. Okay. Cool. Cargo drop. Buried cash. They're everywhere on this planet. They seriously are. There we go. Let's see what we get in this one. Go and be something cool. Ah, it's a mineral record. Okay. Right, well, I've reached an outposty type place here. There we go. The um, That's just ended. I need to put some more fuel in there. I can take the living slime out. And hopefully when I put the living slime back in again... Where are you, living slime? Yes, living slime, living slime. Where are you? Oh, I was away from my mic for some time. Somebody gave me a load of um, salvaged glass. I'll put it in my ship for now. And... Yeah, I've, I've also spent some time killing a few sentinels of my own. So, yeah, I've got quite a lot of glass. Now, I'm going to be using it to turn in. That's my starship. I'm going to be using it to turn in. You can see there, I've got shed loads. But I'm going to use that to turn in every day and hopefully up my ranking. But, yeah, that. whoever gave me a load of glass, thank you very much. Um, I can also give it out to my crew as well. But yeah, interesting one. Right, so now I'm here, technically I could put down a base or whatever, or I could just fly back. But I do need to offload a load of this stuff, to be fair. Ah, uh, got quite a lot on me, haven't I, right now? You know what? What I could do is call in my ship. And I could scroll a load of this stuff into my ship. There we go. I'll put this in there. All the stuff that I want to sell at the station. Killed another sentinel earlier. Let's stick that in there. Might as well put that in there, because I'm going to be upgrading when I get to the station anyway. What else can I put in there? I'll put that in there. I can spin these into nanites. I'm going to do that in a moment. I'll eat these. Uh, anything else I can squirrel away for a bit? Not really. Uh, I think... Oh, I might as well get rid of the PCM. I'll put that in there. But I think we're good. I think that'll do us. Right, just going to jump in my ship, out of my ship, create a little save. Because it's like a little mini campsite. And I'm going to go make myself a cup of tea. Uh, so while I'm here, undercover, and while I'm away from Mike, and because it's a structure, 
there's like a point of safety I'm just gonna sit myself down and I'm just gonna pop myself into creative mode for a bit just in case for whatever reason I die I don't lose everything and I'm just gonna put that to no one just for a bit just while I go make a cup of tea all right cool well chums I was a little bit worried that you know a trader might fly in while I was making my cup of tea so I was going to turn network settings off and put myself in camera mode so it pauses the game essentially and uh, I noticed my freaking network settings were already off so that's that's a bit shite I mean I haven't gone far from my base but I'm a little bit annoyed at myself for doing that uh, that should not have been the case so sorry about that people and I put it back to anyone let's continue on with our little mini adventure I mean yeah I'm a stone's throw away from my civilization my bases they're just over there there you go 10 minutes away from my actual base so sorry about that people okay let's have a look around then let's actually see who is actually online shall we network view nearby players list anonymous gaunt he is in mine uh primus not in mine stormageddon is okay we've got a few people online i was just seeing if ever there's anybody from the Creole Kingdom of Notoriety or maybe the Empire and there is a couple but I don't think I have to worry too much I see them coming I, I think right okay um, and we're pretty good now what I have been told is you know those records I've been digging up those species records and stuff like that apparently if I go to a knowledge stone now it might give me the additional creatures I haven't got so you see there it's like 8 of 10 if I go hit up a knowledge stone, apparently hitting up a knowledge stone will give me a word, but not only that, it should give me the details for one of the creatures on this planet, hopefully, that I haven't already got. I mean, sometimes you can pick up species records for a creature that you've already got on this planet, but there's a good chance, now that I've been digging up loads of them, that if I hit up a knowledge stone, it might go and register a species record. Let's see. Maybe I shouldn't have extracted the species record, left it as it was, you know, and then maybe it will work. I'll try it on the next one we get, people. All right, anyway, let's, let's look around for a buried cache then. Cargo drop. I'm not going to find a buried cache anywhere now, am I? Now that I want to try something new. All right, fine. All right, I'll let you know when I do find one. Yeah. Well, it's like Stormageddon's just hit me up. I'll say hello. Oh, yeah. Send over to the buried cache. Well, how do they storm again? How's things? Hi, Steve. Um, some question. If you need some upgrades, X-Class upgrades, I have a few in my base. Um, I have... Yeah, I mean, what have you got? I'm after a Blaze Javelin, Scatter Blaster, or Pulse Spitter. Um, I have Blaze Javelin, just a... I have four bl uh, blazed uh, javelin. Really? Okay. Yeah. And I can offer you four of my scatter blaster. Oh wow! Okay, I'm I'm on my way. Okay, cool. Um, I haven't got much I can give you in return though, matey. I don't need something. Okay, cool. Oh. I'm on my way. <laughs> I should be there yeah, in about I... five minutes or so. I'm on my beetle. I'm making way to you. Got it. Yeah. There you go. Oh, there's Storm again. I've arrived, located. Oh, Blaze Javelin. Heck yes. Nice one. You know what I could give you? I've got a load of glass if you want to turn it in at the Colossal Archive in return for this. No, no, I don't need it. You don't need it? Okay, um, cool. It's, it's totally okay, so like this. Oh, sweet. Oh, I love your teleporter. Look at that. It's like a little pond. Yeah, and uh, the... Um, bioreactor is in the uh, fire barrel of the statue. Oh, that is so cool! That's awesome. I love that. That's a clever little idea, that one. Nice one, mate. All right, well, thank you very much for these modules. Nice. Well, everything okay? Yeah, I get the. I uh... Also, I, I also have some treasures. Huh? Some treasures. Okay, I can give you back two of these scatter blasters, so you can give to anybody else that you come across if you want. Okay. Do you need other uh, modules? Because 
just uh, give them my no, storage. I think I'm okay. I mean, you haven't got pulse splitter, have you? Um, I have. You have? Holy moly! Yeah, I, I just I just spent ten hours just hitting up trades. And, <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. If, if you've and got pulse splitter, I have. Wow. Oops. What about um, what? a multi-tool expansion slots? Have you got any more of those or? Uh, da, 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 da. I, I, just as I saw you enter the game. Yeah. I have created one in the factory. Oh sweet! I give you back one more of those um, blaze chapters. What the, the the um okay let's have a look I think I've only got I've got one on me at the moment um, but yeah I need to upgrade those a bit Have you upgraded all of yours Is yours fully stacked Is it You don't need them No Okay I, I think... have upgraded I, I have upgraded my bolt caster It makes oh the I think... moment. I think you just gave me bolt caster. I'm okay for bolt caster. I don't need bolt caster. It's the pulse spitter I was hoping for, the one that sets them uh, on fire. Uh, ah, yeah, boy. Just, just, uh, da, 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 da. yeah. I have a little bit issues with uh, the names uh, from German to English. Ah, uh, okay. The pulse spitter's the green one, if that helps. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are you from Austria by chance? No, I'm from Germany. Oh, okay. It's just you sound a little bit like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, I hear it so many times. <laughs> he said, "Get me to the chopper." Oh shit! <laughs> oh, sorry. Do you not like that reference? It doesn't harm me, so no. it's okay. I think it's a compliment, to be fair. I think Schwarzenegger's awesome, you know? Yeah, like, better than uh, in relation to other German oh, yeah. people. That, that scatter blaster. Uh, um, <laughs> I'll oh, give you them back. Uh, Damn. Yeah, um, I, uh, the, the wall is completely full, and, and I have. Um, it, the icon. Well, I mean, you're not going to be able to yeah. see the icon, are you? But. Yeah. This one, if you see an image on your own multi tool, it's like um, green snotty bits coming out. Oh, oh, here we go. That's the one. Heck yes. What is that in German then? Uh, just a second. It's it's Impulswerfer. In Sprintzensnaffer. Uh, cool. That's a, I like that. That's, that's awesome. Right, there we go. Let's, um, okay, I'm going to put that over there. Oh, yeah, I, I've run out of slottage now. What could I disassemble? Well, I don't need my scanner. I need the analysis visor. Oh, whoops, I just went and uninstalled the wrong <laughs> scanner. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to play about with this a bit, aren't I? Yeah, I need that one in. Whoops. It's the S-Class one I can get rid of. Okay, cool. Well, thank you very much for those. Oh, and you gave me some oh, brilliant. I've got some storagey bits. Lovely. Thank you, mate. Do, do you need also some maps uh, for? Uh... No, nope, I am good. I think we've I think we've charted enough. You may have seen that we've announced that we're going to be doing the PVP Last Man Standing from the fifth of July. So yeah. this has really helped me massively. It looks like other people could probably come over to you, Storm, again. Are you okay for me to point the crew to you? Just to, if you've got all these modules to give. Sure. Yeah, so there you go, people. Head on over to Storm again if you see him online and you're part of the 07 Brew Crew. Um, yeah, so what I would say, Storm again, is Cynical's militia can be quite sneaky and they might go and make themselves look like a Viking and turn up here. <laughs> you know what they're like. Just make sure that there's okay. a base and make sure you've seen them in the 07 crew for a while. Yeah, sneakiness, you know. <laughs> anyway, they're, 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 they're little gags. They are indeed, yeah. And synthetic gecks at that. I've seen them do all sorts of weird exploits in the past. I won't put anything past them. Be on guard. <laughs> thank you very right. much, mate. And uh, enjoy. And uh, thank you for this. And I love your I base. The same. Bye.
Cheers. See you, mate. Bye-bye. Well, wasn't that kind of him? You know, how cool is that? All right, so now I need to get back to my base, which is just... The, no, that's not my base. My base is at the foothill of that. Come here, you. My base is at the foothill of, of that archive. It's, oh, there it is. It's just there. Right, we fly down there, and then we go up to the old station... And inside of the station, I'm going to use those multi-tool expansion slots. I'm hoping I can expand my multi-tool out. Otherwise, I might have to up its class before I can add any more tech in. I don't know. We'll go see. We'll go see how we get on up at the station. da la da 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 On train. Head on up here. Hit this up. And let's go to the station. Space station. Zappity doo da. Okay, I'm up here. Uh, purchase upgrade models. I'm just going to hit sell. And I'm going to swap. And I'm going to sell the hyperdrive. Sell the underwater protection module. And I'm also going to sell that. So that's giving me a little bit of a boost on the old nanites. Just in case a trader comes along. Not that I need anything now. I mean, Stormageddon sorted me out massively. Install slots. Okay, let's see how we get on here. Aha, we can do another row. This is good. And I've got a boosted slot. I've opened up a boosted... Two boosted slots. Okay. That's getting boosted. Exosuit. That's getting boosted. Okay. And then if I wanted to actually install this... Let's have a look. The Shell Igniter. I want that. The only thing is I've got to find Phosphorus. Hmm. Yeah, I might have to go and find a trading post or a colossal archive and talk to the traders there to try and get phosphorus. All right, well, we can put that in anyway as a placeholder. We'll see if we can get that later. And the other thing I need... Da -da -da. Quantum mirror and solar mirror. Okay. We've got that in place. Exosuit. So we've still got some work to do to get these weapons to work. If I put that there, that's cool. Is there any others for that? I think there is. There you go, Pulse Spitter. We need Deuterium as well. And uh, one more. I think there's one more module for this. The Pulse Spitter is seriously heavily upgradable. Um, it's, it's not too bad at distance, but not as good as the Blaze Javelin at distance. The Blaze Javelin is seriously OP at distance. This is really good for sort of like close quarters, mid-range. And then the Scatter Blaster is good for when you're pretty much on top of them. Rather than a melee hit. Just use that, you know? Okay. Right. So, let's get this in there. So that's for the Blaze Javelin. And I can fully install that. That's a, that's a working freaking weapon. And I need the Mass Accelerator as well. We can get the Solar Mirror in for that one quite quickly, I think. We've got one slot free. We can just about fit all of the tech in there. This is going to be a pretty cool weapon when it comes to combat now. Okay. Um, what else have I got inside of my old exosuit? I've got nothing. I've got nothing else here. I have got a species record. You can see that it says the actual name of the actual species of creature in there. River La Sea. Okay. So if I go over to my Discoveries tab, have I actually got... Uh, oh, well, where is it? Oh, well, this is a different system. I'll have to jump back down to the planet. But we, we put that to the test later anyway, people. There's a lot of tech that I still need. Now, I have got a few units. Let's see if any of the bits that I need are for sale inside of here. Okay, bye. Let's have a quick look-see. Unstable Plasma... Chromatic metal, gold. I don't think I can use the traders up here. I don't even know where I'm really allowed to use that. But, you know, you, you find them at all the Colossal Archives anyway. So I didn't think it really overly mattered. So your bases. Let's go to the Colossal Archive then. Bam, bam, bam. Archive miles away. Let's go. Okay, well, I've arrived, Kated. Right, well, let's... um. Let's see, let's see if I can just do another turn in. I just want to have a look, see what the cooldown is. 
Can I donate again? I can! Okay, well, we'll donate then. Redeem. We're just not there right now, so redeem. Oh, I can get that. Go back to donate. Donate that. Has that given me enough? No, still not enough. But if I go back to the other place, the other cost like I can do what I did this morning. That might do do me a favour or two. Anyways, let's go and hit up these traders here that are landing. And let's see if any of them can sell me some phosphorus. Hello, mate. I'm after phosphorus. You got any phosphorus, mate? Phosphorus. I need phosphorus. Okay, let's have a look. you got no phosphorus. You've got selenium. Ooh, selenium. I might be able to change that into phosphorus. I'll buy it. I'll have it. Because I, 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 can, I can probably... Probably do something with that. Hello, mate. Mate, mate, I want, I want to talk to you. Come, come, come away from there. Well, just for a second. There we go. Okay, cool. Offer to trade. What have you got? Frost crystal. You got nothing of interest there. I think I can make phosphorus out of the selenium. I'm not 100% sure whether I can or can't, but we'll give it a go. Let's check the galactic trade terminal down here. And buy. Let's have a look what they've got. Oh, they've got paraffinium. They haven't really got what I'm after. No. Alright. Well, let me have a look, see. Okay, because I've got a base here, I can put this into normal mode. Now, sometimes that can affect what the Galactic Trade Terminal sells. So let's go and have a quick look. Buy. Can I buy salt now? Still no salt there. I can hear somebody using a cloaking device. What the fudge is going on? Is there somebody nearby me? I swear, I, I'm hearing cloaking devices. Hmm. Okay, well I am at my base, so you know what, I'll just go into network and I'll just put that to no one for a minute. Because I am at a base and it is my own base. Something weird's going on. Yeah, I'm hearing... I'm hearing all sorts. Okay, anyway, let's go into here. Off to trade. Have you got any salt for sale? No, you have not. I might have to go to an ocean to find some salt people. That sucks. Alright. I'll just I'll try a few more traders and see if they've got anything. But I think I've got the phosphorus now, haven't I? Um, no, I've got solarium. Solarium. Okay. Oh, yeah, there, there's somebody right here. So solarium plus salt. Who is that? Who is this guy? Well, Lippy Lippy. Well, he, he's not a Viking. He's not a Gek. Hold on. Let's see who this guy is. Invite to group. Hello there, buddy. Well, hello there. Can you hear me? Hi. I am. Well, I've noticed you're not a Viking, so I don't know whether you're on my side or which side you're on. I just came to say sorry about the killings. I thought on this server I could have. Uh, Kill people because I don't really understand how the servers in No Man's Sky work. I'm oh. sorry, and I was just saying sorry. Oh, okay. You um, the the troll guy that was going around killing everybody in the next home Yeah, I thought I thought because I don't really know the you know things of No Man's Sky. Really, I mean, I don't have to play, but not the servers. Oh, okay. I thought that I could make a different one. I'm sorry, and. I'll probably even stop playing. Oh no, that's cool. You don't need to stop playing. I mean, um, I mean, maybe just you know, duck out of this event because yeah, yeah, every time you killed someone, they lost all their inventory. So a lot of people had to start over. So it annoyed a fair few people in my Discord numbers. But there was a rule sheet that was out that you could have read through, and if you did fill out the Google form, you should have got that. So. Yeah, I had my friend fill it out. Well, he filled it out and told me to play. 
Oh, and you told you the portal. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right, mate. Well, um, yeah. I mean, if you do want to join in, I mean, I've noticed that you're under a different name now, like Life is Life. But if you make yourself look like a Viking, uh, you can always join my crew. But you, know, you, if you don't understand the rules, I'd be worried that you're already too OP for this because you've got to start over from scratch and build yourself up slowly. Um, you're probably best to join next season and properly read the rules if you want to take part. Yeah, I'll probably just not play. I'll probably just not mess with people. I'll stay in creative and just, you know, spectate yeah. and stuff. So well, that's like, cool. Yeah, do that. Different. Yeah, just do that. Just spectate that. That'd be cool. But yeah, apology accepted, buddy. I'll let everybody know that it was a misinterpretation of the rules. And um, yeah, you, you, thanks. Thanks for dropping in and letting us know. Because I was worried that we might get a whole load of trolls turn up. I, I didn't know whether you had something in for one of us or whether you just no, didn't like me about it. Right. So that's good I, to know. I thought, so, you know, your buddy you're with, I thought, man, I'm just going to stop and they'll play the normal. So I realized, oh, I came in the ship, so I'm just not going to kill him anywhere. And cool. yeah, I'm just not going to play anymore. I mean, I'll play him in Skype, but like I said, I'll just stick to and stuff. All right, nice one. Well, good to see you here. And yeah. Feel free to spectate, and uh, hopefully you get to see me annihilate Professor Cynical or um, the Empire, which will be fun. Yeah, can you please tell him I'm sorry? Yeah, you know, to be honest, I've actually recorded this. I, I was making a video when you turned up. Um, oh. So if you want, I can put all this into a video so you know everyone can well, see it as part of the event. I, I don't, I want to really like my voice, please. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, just, just tell him in person. Yeah. Well, not a person, but please just call him, sorry. Okay, mate. All right, no problems. Cool. I mean, I, I could do a voice changer on you if you want. Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, I can make you sound like a growly demon. There you go. <laughs> cool. Okay. All, right. All right, mate. Take care. See you later. Right, bye. Bye-bye. See ya. Well, there we go, people. Hopefully I can do that in post-edit, make him sound like a growly demon or um, maybe Mickey Mouse or something. Who knows? But there we go, which was nice to hear. It was a misinterpretation, a misunderstanding, and hopefully that means no more death pardons and things like that. Hopefully we're going to be good for PvP. Oh, that's a massive weight off my shoulders. Brilliant day. Thank you. I do love this community. This community is awesome. Right, chums, there was no lakes near me there, so I'm just teleporting back to my own base where there's a couple of ponds and lakes. And hopefully I'll be able to get some salt. And then I should be able to craft that into what I need. Dragon? Yes, please, won't mind a dragon. Right. Uh, got one ready to... Careful, you're standing right next to a pumpy plant. I'll try and kill it for you. Let's see. Chaboom, there you go. Thank you very much. Heck yes, I've got a dragon. <laughs> and you can have another one as well, which is ready to hatch. In Sweet. Oh. Time, it's, give, it, give it to somebody. His, his body sort of stayed here. That was a bit weird. Yeah. Mm. Okay, thank you very much. Cheers. Hey. Yeah, I couldn't use my PC safe because it's on PC Experimental. It's a couple of versions ahead. So yeah. I can't connect in to bring in any eggs on that one. Well, thank you. Yeah. Cheers. There's some um, weird, things that, weird things going on with this uh, game at the moment. I mean, your uh, house here would disappear completely this morning. Yeah. Yeah, it does that. There's a sound <laughs> glitch as well. There's all sorts of weirdness. Yeah. I don't suppose yeah. you've got any salt on you, have you? Salt. Salt, yeah. Uh, oh. I mean, I'm, I can I can go dive into the ocean and try and find some that way. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, actually, I haven't looked at the crafting menu for salt to see if I can make my own salt. Would you like some glass anyway, or have you you've been killing sentinels? You said already. So. Yeah, I've, I've been collecting them myself. <laughs> yeah. Free glass at the moment. Okay. More diet and all sorts of things. Uh, uh, fair enough. Oh, dehydrogen and oxygen. Dehydrogen and oxygen makes salt. Okay, I might be able to make some of my own. I just need to put down a a, a refiner, like a medium refiner. Okay, I just need some blue crystals for that. I'll go find some blue crystals. All right, well, thank you very much for the dragon, mate. 
That's all right. Any cool. time. Thank you. Later. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye. Oh. Okay, chums. Well, what I figured is what I could do is I could hopefully put down a medium refiner. Let's go over here. Boom. Uh, make another dehydrogen jelly. Uh, if I get a medium refiner. Now, I'm going to have. To, oh, I need five of the dang things. Okay. Ah, right. Um, difficulty. I'm in normal mode. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure I only needed two a minute ago. That's pretty weird. Saying that I need five. Okay. Fun times. Can I make more? There we go. Now can I put down a medium refiner? Yes, I can. Okay, now what I'm thinking of doing is hiding this under my staircase. So if I spin that around like so, and I think that is just on my staircase there. Hopefully it hasn't got a high hitbox and it's going to ruin my staircase. But where I've placed that, hopefully now if I then get this and go how am i gonna hide this if i get that and stick it there there we go and then if i just put this around the back there we are no one would ever know it was there there we go haha can i still go up my stairs okay yes i can i'm happy with that you know what that's um Let's just put a little wall sticker over it. <laughs> Brilliant, eh? Uh, what shall I go for? I'm going to go for not a gek, because you know, we're Viking. We want something very Viking-esque, don't we? I'll just stick that there, you know? That's a Viking symbol. Let's stick that there. Boom. Okay, let's go interact with this then. Boom! There we are! Okay, right. I'm going to be putting in... Can I put it in there? Ah, uh, I forgot what I've got to put in there now. I was going to put in salt, wasn't I? Oh, no, I was going to make salt, and it was with oxygen and something else. Okay, so here we go. Oxygen. I think it was pure ferrite. Let's have a look, see if I've got any pure ferrite on me. I've got ferrite dust. Was that? Let's see if that works. No, that makes rusted metal. Let's see if we can find the pure ferrite. The sound glitch is starting to happen. I can hear it building. We've got magnetised ferrite. Is that going to work? No, it is the pure ferrite that I need. All right, let's take that out. I'm going to have to do an upload of my base. Um, the sound glitch is starting to happen. And uh, I'm going to have to reset the sound glitch. It's not letting me re-upload my base. There we go. Upload base. You can hear the sound glitch though, right? Right, sometimes jumping in my ship and out of my ship sometimes fixes it. It sort of calmed it down a bit. Let's jump in and out one more time. I don't think it's going to work this time. This is really annoying. I have to jump away i have to teleport away from my base and come back again to reset it or do a reload i'll do a reload all right people i'll be do a reload right so if i want to make some pure um, um pure ferrite let's just put this here for a second open this up let's put in some carbon and let's just get some ferrite dust uh, um so we go and turn that into a ferrite dust and i can put the ferrite dust in and make the pure ferrite Yes, yeah, so this will make the pure ferrite. Here we go. Let me just double check the recipe on the No Man's Sky Assistant app. Oh, it's actually dehydrogen plus one oxygen. Oh, fudge. Okay. All right. Well, um, yeah, I didn't make, need to make any pure ferrite. I misread it. I think that was to make uh, the phosphorus into something, wasn't it? Okay, well, let's pick that up. Let's go interact with this quickly. What about if I did get the solarium? Oh, no, I definitely need salt for that. Okay, all right. Um, I need to go get a load more deoxide. So let's go and have a look at some blue crystals. Is it back? I think it is. Let's just head on over here. Lovely. 
We've got a little bit there, not much. All right, I need to find some more blue crystals now. Right, I'll be back in a bit, people. Oh, chums, there's a knowledge stone right here, and I've already got um, one of these things in here. So let's go and hit this up and see what happens then. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it didn't do anything. Bit odd. All right, well, I don't know what that comment meant then that I was that was left for me. Let's head on the inside of here then. I was half expecting the discoveries to pop up to say that I've now got eight, no, nine out of ten. Oddity. Might as well just pop that then. No, no, it's received. And it's still 8 out of 10. So I'm not too sure what they meant by that. Okay, cool, yeah. We've done that. Right, so let's head on over here then. Let's put in oxygen. Oxygen. Oxygen, pow. And we want to put in the dioxide that I just picked up. Dioxide, where are you? Oh no, dehydrogen. There we are. Salt, there we go. That's going to make my salt. Real. Okay, now if I get this, put that over there. Well, oh, that's going to make chlorine. And where's that solarium that I just picked up? Let's have a look. Bum, bum, bum. Dilly D, where are you? The solarium. Put that in there. There we go. Now I can make the phosphorus. It's only going to make 95. I don't know how much I need. Let's have a look. On the old multi-tool. Uh, ba -bum -bum. We need 200 of it. But at least we've got the process now. I know what I need to do. Just buy myself a shed load more of this. Come on. And yeah, back over here, just buying things. It's going to take us a while. What have you got for sale, mate? Nothing there. Cool. Well, leave it with me. So I'm back at the Colossal Archive, as you probably saw, and uh, trying to buy more of the, um, the red good stuff. And uh, I've bought some, but not a lot. Um, I could do with a bit more just to be sure. I don't want to have to keep teleporting backwards and forwards all blinking day. All right, here we go. Let's head on over here. I'm going to talk to this guy. Hello there, chap. Off to trade. Oh, he's got cactus flesh. Deoxite is another ingredient you can use. Um, but I haven't seen any selling deoxide. I've seen them selling um, frost crystal, but not deoxide. Okay, looks like one of the ships that I was hoping to get to took off while I was interacting with another. This is quite a slow, laborious process. It's going to take me a little while, people. Let's just put it that way. And then I'll be right back with you as soon as I'm able. Oh, look, one's just landed over there. Let's get over there quickly. Hello there, mate. You got anything half decent? Oh, he's got gold and platinum. He's got no plant life. What the fudge? Okay, you're useless. Thank you. Right. I'll just wait around them, pips, and hopefully I'll be able to buy some. Well, I do need to make some quantum computers, so I'll make one of those while I'm waiting. And I also need solar mirrors. I'm going to need lots of silver and chromatic metal. Okay, well, I think chromatic metal is for sale over here anyway. While we're waiting for more... Oh, oh we've just got one land in here. I could do with some silver. How am I going to get silver? Okay. Hello, mate. Come here, you. Off to trade. Uh, we've got some gold there. I get caught. Right. Let's head on over this way. Now, I think I can buy some chromatic metal from here. I'm sure it was in this list. So we're good to buy. Uh, chromatic metal, I'll have all of that, thank you very much, while I'm waiting. We'll wait for that to replenish while we're talking to traders that are landing, so at least we've got two things going on at once. I'm trying to think of where I'm going to get silver from. Now, I know that those curious deposits on the planet, not the curious deposit, but the, you know the floating blue crystals, they give you sorts of all sorts of commodities that you can turn into silver, so I might have to go looking for some of those a bit later. Okay, um, you haven't got any. Alright, fine. 
Okay, well, I think you know what I'm doing. I'll let you know when I think I've got enough. Okay, so one of the things that does translate or transmute is the, um, the dirty bronze. So if I was to put down this and put the dirty bronze in from my ship. Uh, dirty bronze, where are you, dirty bronze? There it is. Stick that into there. That's going to turn into silver. Put that in there. And it should go really fast as well. There we go. We've got our silver. Which I thought was going to be the hardest part. So and if I go down here. Am I close to making my solar mirror? I am. So there we go. I can make a solar mirror. I go back to my multi-tool now. I can then put that in. So we've got that bit done. We still need the Hermetic Seals times four, and we're only ten phosphorus short. Okay, right, so we need Deuterium as well to do that one. And I need one more solar mirror. Okay, let's see if we can craft one more solar mirror. I can. Go back to the multi-tool. We can get that in. I just saw Professor Cynical has dropped into the instance. Now I need the Deuterium, and I need my phosphorus. Right, oh, we're so close. All right, Hermetic Seal then. Hermetic Seal. Hermetic Seal. Uh, how many of them did I need? Did I need four of them or something? Where's the Hermetic Seal in this list? Hermetic Seal. There we go. So, Hermetic Seal, we've got, we only need the Phosphorus now. And how much of that Solarium have I bought? I think I might have enough for the 10. So I've got 169 that I've purchased decated. Let's go back to my um, base and let's use the medium refiner and see if we can do it. Okay, so I'm back here. Have I got enough salt? Um, I hope I have. Let's have a look. See, salt, salt, salt. Where are you? I've got 42 salt. Ah! And the solarium. Come on. We can do this. Oh, cool. We can make 42. That's more than enough. We only needed 10. So there we are. Easy peasy. In fact, I might as well stop that. I'd rather keep my salt just in case. Okay, right. Um, back to the old multi tool. We can get that installed. Bring it on. We're ready for war. Okay, so deuterium. Oh, how did... Okay. I was just thinking, I need tritium. I think I do have a little bit of tritium. We got it inside of the caves while we was um, harvesting. And I kept it. And we was getting the cobalt. Okay, so now if I get the dehydrogen, the dehydrogen, 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 which is the blue stuff, isn't it? Did I turn it all into... Ah. I think I turned it all into freaking jelly or whatever. Let's just take that out for a minute, just in case it goes walkabout and vanishes. Let's go get some more blue stuff. Okay, chums, now a lot of this was gifted to me when I was away from Mike. So, you know what, because I didn't, uh, I had probably about 30 on me and I've already handed in some of it. So, you know what, I'm going to make this about right. So, I think that's about right. I'm going to keep what I've, I've earned myself. I'm not going to use whatever people gave me. So I've deleted a couple of stacks of the glass. Um, I think people have been offloading it to me after I've killed Sentinels to give out to the rest of the crew. But because I didn't see who gave it to me, and I couldn't ask them how they got it, I just I just want to keep it as fair as possible. So I deleted that. Well, yeah. Cynical is just away from Mike at the moment, but cool. I'm going to go and see if I can now create the rest of my bits and bobs that I need. Okay, tritium and dehydrogen. That makes my deuterium... There we are, we've got that on the bag. We've got what, 40 seconds on there. Sweet. I'm going to get this done before that sound glitch comes back. Because obviously standing in my base, not the best idea in the world. But that's where all my, my stuff is, you know. Anyway, got this going. Okay, chums, well, I've got myself my deuterium. There we go. Chicka pow pow. Chicka boom boom. And I should now be able to install the last remnant of the pulse spitter. <laughs> yes. And I've, oh, I've got one more solar mirror that I need to build. All right. Let's see if we can make that solar mirror. I can. Over to the multi-tool. And we've installed located that. 
Holy fudge. Okay, right, it's now up to 6,300 and something or other. Lovely jubbly. We've got that done. Okay, right. Well, you know Ominous Gaunt hit me up the other day to show that they have um, managed to infiltrate Cynical's Crayola Kingdom. He sent me over a photo montage, so I'm going to be putting that up on the screen at the end of this video, so enjoy that. Next episode, people. I might as well make myself a little bit larger on the screen, man. I? Next episode, people, we're going to be testing this multi-tool over at a Sentinel Pillar and seeing what sort of damage I can do to Sentinels and see if we can take out maybe a Walker or something and see how we get on there. So, yeah, let's see if we're combat ready. All right, people, take care. Salute to Mondo. And, yeah, enjoy the photo montage that I have from Ominous Gaunt, one of my knights infiltrating the Creator Kingdom. Golly, yeah. Okay, John, so here we go. These were taken after Professor Cynical's rebuild. And there's Ominous Gaunt just having a nice little lounge on one of his sofas. And there he is by the fireplace, you know, just standing around, being ominous. <laughs> and there he is again over in the Creole Kingdom. Oh, I do like your wall motif that you've done there, Cynical. Very lovely. There he is under the stairs by the base computer, so he still found the base computer. I don't know why it's a big thing if you find the base computer. You know, mine's sitting right outside my door, I don't really care. You got like a little weapons sort of booth there as well. Lovely picture of Ominous. I like the cheesy grin. Cheesy grin from Ominous. Lovely. Yeah, show those toothy pegs. Why not? Those brighty whites. And there he is on <laughs> Cynical's throne. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Another one on the throne. Yeah, why not? And we got him just sort of you know, looking at the multi-tool rack. I wonder how long Cynical sits there for each day, planning and plotting his attack. Yeah. Oh, there's a stash of nip-nip. Nip-nip in the basement. Oh, sneaky. All right, fair enough. And there we go. Oh, look. There's solar panels inside of there and hidden technologies. Oh, it looks like he's found your little power station there, Cynical. Heck yes, I know you found mine right at the very start that I hid in the water. But I put that there mainly because I was making a video about the appearance modifier. I did actually delete out that little power hub that was inside the water. But um, I do have hidden power and I do have hidden solar panels. So I, you know, it, As long as you hide the tech, we said that it's all good. So there we are. Holy fudge! Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree is out now. Is it? Oh no, I did not know. How much is it though? Oh, 39.99. 40 quid. I can't afford it until payday, people. Honestly can't. Yeah, you know, we go out almost every weekend and I'm saving for this wedding and trying to build a PC. Yeah, fun times. <laughs> And plus, I don't know whether I really want to jump back into Elden Ring. I, as much as I liked it, God, it's such a hard game, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Don't know. Anyway, people, that's everything. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Captain Steve, Captain Steve. Captain, Captain Steve. Thanks all his new members and backers. Thank you, Sir Ominous Gaunt. Thank you, Rob Roll. Thank you, B Turtle. Thank you, 1975 Adam. Thank you, Stephen Jardine. Thank you, Bow Chaser. Thank you, Y2K. If you can back my channel through membership or Patreon, then keep my channel going on.